I loved writing this poem, Key. In here I get to play between my adopted German maternal grandmother, who I was very close to, who lived in the Brossa Valley. She was a wonderful gardener. She grew flowers for a living. She grew food. We ate so much fresh food, fruits, and there you can, you can eat too many cherries. But then in my 30s and 40s, I was meeting my old traditional grandmothers. And even though I was a grown woman, I knew I could feel the little girl inside of me still enjoying the wonder of those grandmothers' wisdom and their teasing of me and me wanting to climb into their laps. And they let me. So, key was the poem where I put all that maternal grandmother influence into one poem. Mostly my traditional Aboriginal grandmothers, we didn't meet in a house. We met camping out in the bush, sleeping around campfires. My German grandmother always had the house and the routine of a house. And I don't love them any different. I love them the same. And I wanted to bring them together in this poem. All those grandmothers, even from different cultures, gave me, they each gave me one thing to remember that would help me through life. And I've written them down. If I'm feeling a little uneasy in life, I write down what they said and I stick it on the wall when I'm doing the dishes or next to my bed and I remind myself, each of those women gave me one key, one sentence to help me with life. They, as old women, they had managed to decipher what they'd learnt into life into one sentence. What a gift and what a key. It opened up a new life for me. It opened up my poetry to share for others. It opened up my ability to share the wisdom of those women with the young people that I hope read my work.